Hello everyone. So today we are going to understand an interesting CSS property which is box sizing and understand how it works, how to use it and what are the typical applications of this property. So let's begin from there towards our session. So if you search for box sizing property and come to the two three schools, this is what you get. WSUS tells that the CSS box sizing property allows us to include padding and border elements total width and height. The first time I came across this, I was like, what is this? Like, what does it mean? So I came across some YouTube videos and then realized the actual meaning behind the sentence and uh, the application. So I'm just going to share the same with you all today. So let's uh, jump into code. So I have a basic index.html page here with three divs. So one div which has a text of content box reference and border box so content box and border box are two attributes which we can use in css box sizing property which we are going to understand in some time then i have a index.css file in which i have a body tag with some basic text elements or flex property and a basic box element that's it nothing much so what we are going to do is uh, i'm going to use this properties here so let me just add box element to all these three elements and continue from there on let's see now i can open this using live server and this is what we get now another thing which we can do is we can add some color to this space so that things become a bit clear i'm going to use material palette for my color choices so let's go with dark blue and purple first so content box can have darker color content box day basically so i'm setting the background color for this day and as you can see the div is looking a bit better now then we can add another color to the reference div so the reference div is to understand the differences let me just add the background color for there as well and then we have our border box element which i'm going to add some another color mm, I don't know. let's go with teal and our color is usually better so i'm going to pick another color for that as well and if we come back to the page we have some elements like this then let's copy the box element and assign them to okay it is already assigned let's increase the height a little bit from 50 30 to 50 x and this is what we get so we have three divs here and we are going to understand the box sizing property using these three div containers so the first thing which uh, we can try is to add the padding to our first div so let me just adjust my vs code so that browser and code editor are side by side so the first thing which we can try is to give the main properties which is box sizing property so in the content box we are obviously going to give a property of content box uh, we'll come to what this uh, does to the div then in the border box we are going to assign the css property of border box okay now with this uh, there is no change in our div as you can see so essentially the next question that comes into our mind is what does this actually do in order to understand that what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a padding to my content box div so to this div a padding of let's say 100 px and similarly i'm going to add a padding of 100 px to my border box as well and it's safe now once i hit save you can see that the divs changed in a different manner so if you observe carefully the content box div has a padding of 100 px but the padding got applied to the content box in a such a manner that it size increased more than the base reference div and it went beyond the actual width which i wanted to set which was a width of 500 px so this width that we have currently or this height that we have currently is much larger than the width which i initially wanted so this is obviously beyond 500 px but if you observe the div which has a border box uh, attribute set to box sizing, we see that the width remains same. Only thing that happens is the padding gets applied internally. 
so the first thing which we come uh, understand from these two cases is when we have a box sizing as border box instead of content box the padding is applied internally to a div instead of increasing the entire width size or the entire div size which we don't want so this is a disadvantage of using a content box property so if i re even remove this content box property the property uh, the size remains same the reason is because by default every div has a box sizing property set to content box now if i inspect this element and let's go to the computed values so this is what we have in our console so if we go to the computed values as you can see currently the padding is applied externally to the div and if i go to border box as you can see the internal uh, so for this border box property the internal width uh, shrink, shrink to 300 px and the inter external padding got applied but in case of content box the internal width remains same and the padding got applied externally so that is the main difference which we observe from content box and border box property that is in border box the size can shrink but the uh, and, uh, final width of the div remains constant in case of content box the width of the content box remains same the padding is applied externally similarly if we uh, try to assign another property which is let's say border property to the content box so let me just remove the padding from both and let me bring them back to the original size now if i apply a border to both of these bits again of let's say 20 px of a solid border and with a black color let's say and if i copy this border property and apply it to my second div as well now as you can see uh, in case of content box the border got uh, applied in a way that the content box width increased overall in case of border box the width remains same i think we can reduce the border a bit so let's keep it at 8px not 20px because it looks absurd so in this case if you can observe carefully in, uh, with uh, comparison to the reference div which we have here in case of border box the width remains same the border got applied internally in case of content box the border gets applied externally again if we go to inspect and check the computed values so as you can see the width remains same the border gets applied external to reduce in case of border box if we inspect the element and check the computed values the internal width got reduced but the border remains same so that's basically the advantage or what can i say the huge plus of using border box property instead of content box so usually what uh, developers do is uh, instead of applying them to the is individually like this so what we usually do is we uh, apply it either to the body tag like we can apply a box sizing property here of border box or another thing which we usually do is we apply it to the html itself so not at the body so if i remove the box sizing from here and apply it to the html tag itself that also works fine okay so those were uh, some of the tips and tricks using box sizing border box property now we can observe that the width increased a bit uh, in case of border so if i apply content box there is no change i think we can go first try to go with star okay so uh, star is a universal attribute for all the elements so if we use a star notation and apply the properties to all the elements in that case the border box property gets applied to all the elements we can also apply this property to all the after and before selectors if we want using common notation so this is how typically border box sizing border box is applied to all the elements in a particular HTML page if you want to use if not we can remove them okay so that uh, briefly covers what content box and border box property means i hope this small mini tutorial was useful to you all uh, this was inspired again from kevin powell's original video i'm going to uh, share a link to the original video in which kevin powell explains the things in a similar manner so if you want you can go check that out to understand about this in a little bit better fashion that's it from my end have a good day and if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel.